اللهم آت نفسي تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها Oh Allah, give my soul the protection it needs. Purify it, for you are the best who purifies. You are its guardian and its master. Uh, this uh, prophetic uh, prayer, um, it's, uh, it's narrated in uh, the collection of Muslim or Sahih Muslim. It's a sound um, hadith. Um, and uh, it's narrated that the Prophet ﷺ would say this, uh, this prayer whenever he hears the ayah from or the Quran verse of Surah Al-Shams. Indeed, he prospers who purifies it. So the ayah uh, obviously speaks of those who purify their souls and those who uh, neglect, uh, dull their soul by neglecting it. And the Prophet ﷺ is reminding us that it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who purifies our soul. Um, the purification of the soul or tazkiyatun nafs is a concept that is very central to the, our Islamic tradition and it received a great attention uh, in, in classical works of uh, spirituality and of tafsir, Quranic exegesis and of other genres as well. And the core aspect of the purification of, of the soul, tazkiyatun nafs, is basically to center your, um, uh, to center your actions uh, toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and toward what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded and has uh, forbade us um, uh, from. So the centrality of this concept is um, is indeed uh, very clear in, in our tradition. But the reason why I shared this uh, dua with you today is to remind you that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even Quran has been revealed to him, he actually treats Quran as a conversation. So when he hears an ayah, he converses with it and he says something to respond to this ayah. And this you find in many of the other prophetic uh, narrations as well. So for example, when the Prophet ﷺ would hear uh, the Quranic ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Shahid Allahu annahu la ilaha illahu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bird witness that there is no God uh, but he, the Prophet ﷺ would say, Wa ana ashhadu bima shahida billah. I, I too witness, bear witness to that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bared witness to. So this reminds us that we need to converse with the Quran. Quran is the spoken word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you hear an ayah, think about, you know, uh, you know how, how are you going to react to that? Our, our shuyukh or our ulama taught us that whenever we hear an ayah about heaven, for example, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, uh, of, uh, for it, or in, and and when we hear an ayah about uh, hellfire, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to see, seek refuge uh, from it. So this conversation that the Prophet Sallallahu is teaching us to do with the uh, Quran is basically why I am sharing this uh, particular uh, dua with you is to teach us that you know when you when you hear an ayah, then you respond uh, to it in in, in such a manner. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.